Asterisk. Dude, aren't you tired of putting your audience through this? The first time is a pretty good misdirect. Anything after that is mean. This is just cruel. The reveal should have happened a long time ago. Please stop dragging it out. I know a part of the appeal of the show and most stories is the journey, but this particular journey is frustrating. Hello everyone, my name's Ayla Bell, and I recently did a collab video with Cyrus the Great discussing the second half of Miraculous Ladybugs Season 4 episodes. Well, the ones that have released so far. While editing my parts of the review, something very unfortunate happened. Right as I press save, my video making software did an oopsie and deleted my save file. Despite saving multiple times, the file was gone forever. Sparing you my moments of depression, I was able to retrieve half of my work, but the other half I would have to pretty much redo it in its entirety. And I'm gonna be honest with you all, I do not have the motivation to do that due to still being pretty disheartened from all of my hard work getting obliterated. So I'll give you some cliff notes on my feelings of the episodes I didn't discuss, okay? Okay. I don't have much to say about this episode. It's mostly just love square fluff. This whole confession and reveal mess should have been dealt with forever ago, and I just can't say that I care. Cat Noir needs a hug and some therapy. Also, the Akuma is one big Code Lyoko reference. It's much too similar to Xana's symbol to be a coincidence. Both are French shows, and one is superior to the other. I'll let you decide which one. But, conspiracy time, what if the two shows are happening in the same universe? I'll let you marinate on that. It's cool to see Alia struggle with keeping her identity a secret, and by cool, I mean I like her character development. It was really weird, though, to see her hug Cat Noir. I don't watch the show, so are those two close enough to hug? Or was it just a stupid means of causing a misunderstanding with Nino? On another note, I wish the show would explore the whole miraculous holders can change their superhero outfits consciously or unconsciously thing. Feels like a missed opportunity there. Adrian has no dreams for himself, and that's sad. Will he ever develop interests outside of Ladybug? Who knows? If the show were written better, he would. Anyway, Luca is a total bro. I wanted him to find out about Marinette being Ladybug, and, true to the episode's title, I got what I wished for. Also, I wish Gabriel would pick a lane as to how he'll react when he finds out Adrian is Cat Noir. It's really inconsistent, and it's really annoying. Stuff happens. Instagram didn't give me enough context for this episode, so I don't have much to say about it. Tiki is given development. This is cool because Magical Girl Companions tend to be neglected in that department. Also, knowing that each Miraculous has as much power slash potential as the user allows it to is fascinating, but I have a sneaky suspicion that that aspect of each Miraculous won't be fully explored. Who knows though? Maybe I'm wrong. Guess we'll see. I already said my piece on Ephemeral in Cyrus's video, but I do have a bit more to say, as well as a special little message towards Mr. Thomas Asterisk. I didn't say anything before, but I totally called some stupid shenanigans happening that made it so that Adrian, Mari, and Gabriel forgot about each other's identities. I initially thought that Bunnix would fix it, but I was totally on the right track that there would be time travel interference. Asterisk. Dude. Aren't you tired of putting your audience through this? The first time is a pretty good misdirect. Anything after that is mean. This is just cruel. The reveal should have happened a long time ago. Please stop dragging it out. I know a part of the appeal of the show and most stories is the journey, but this particular journey is frustrating. You're taking extra routes that are only adding on to your drive time. If that time was being used for something productive, I wouldn't mind, but it's just toying with the audience and adding unnecessary frustration. We all know that the reveal and confession will happen. All you're doing is convincing us of two things. One, that the actual reveal and confession will not be as good as you're hyping it up to be, and two, that Marinette and Adrian shouldn't be together. Clearly, the universe doesn't want them together, because it keeps making bad things happen, and when they do, the undo button keeps getting pressed. 
If you have to keep hitting undo that many times, then maybe what you're working on is a mistake and needs to be worked on. Or maybe you should try something different. I'm just saying. Now, I don't want anyone to bully or harass Asterix because of his decisions in this show or even because of the less than moral things he might say. I'm not one to attack someone's character, only their work and the characters in their work. I'm no professional, but I have learned a lot in the past several years about good writing and I just have to question so many of his decisions in this show. And don't get me wrong, I know it's not just him. I'm sure he has to consult other people about the ideas he has for episodes, so the decisions made aren't solely on him. Regardless, many questionable things happen in this show, and I am just utterly baffled. Again, I'm not a pro writer and I have a lot to learn myself, but I just felt it needed to be said. I really wish all the best for Asterix, but I sincerely hope that he learns from this whole miraculous project and that future shows or movies or whatever he works on turns out a bit better. If you enjoy Miraculous, then I'm happy for you. I sincerely am. I know the show is popular for a reason and that it means a lot to a lot of people. I'm not attacking your tastes. Everything I say is just from my perspective and just my opinions. I say what I say because I see the potential in Miraculous and I'm a bit disappointed in how it turned out. I know my words have little weight to them since I don't actually watch the show, but I've explored the fandom a bit and it seems like my sentiments are shared with a lot of the fans. Anyway, please forgive this rant that I totally didn't intend to include in the script. In any case, that concludes my Lost Miraculous commentary. Comment below and let me know your thoughts on Season 4 or even predictions for the future. I will continue to not watch the show, but I am considering watching the Awakening movie when it comes out. I guess we'll see. I'd like to thank everyone who has subscribed to my channel. I prayed to God a few months ago that I would reach 1,000 subscribers before Christmas. And before it seemed like it might not happen, it ended up happening only a couple days before. God is truly good and I am thankful to him and all of you who took a chance on me and who enjoy what I do. You all are awesome. Thank you so, 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 so much. Have a Merry Christmas and a most wonderful New Year. As for now, and as far as 2021 goes, that's all there is. There isn't any more.